Hey guys, real quick, I just wanna say a quick shout out to Lightstream and Dell for sponsoring this episode. That was always Damien's thing. Even if we had like actual food, Damien would just always like make some concoction that he would eat. I call it bachelor chow. I always like feel like it's nice to get your opinion out there, but I really like keeping my Twitter just like, just funny, dumb stuff. I have one titled Saran Wrap. And the only thing I wrote was a video about one of us struggling to cut saran wrap. <laughs> yes! Extreme hiker bundled up in their mummy sleeping bag, but still threatening to beat your ass. Modern day Monty Python. Get over there, I'll kick your ass. You can't kick my ass, you're stuck in there. I'm not stuck. This is a choice. <laughs> it's a choice, I can leave any time. I think the nice thing about doing the podcast from home is that I can crap myself and it's not gonna be a problem ultimately for anyone. I mean, I, I, could, I, might have, I might have pooped my pants already and there's no way you're gonna know. I don't know, man, Zoom is pretty good. <laughs> they they have a smell feature probably. <laughs> smell feature? You can I have smell a smell feature my pants. Dude. If there was a smell feature on these things, would you subscribe to it? Would you? No. Would you Why? I hate smelling you anyway. You smell like pepper. <laughs> Pepper. Pepper. But, what if, Pepper. but what if there is a wet dog? I, d I don't want that. Then, then yeah. Then wet no. dog, guys, wet dog doesn't smell that bad, honestly. I like Wet dog smell. smells bad and my cat smells like pee pee. So animals are bad. Well, you I should give them. your, you Aww. should get some, you should get some like of those cleaning wipes for pets. Those are I use helpful. it Have constantly. you ever thought about She still smells not, like pee pee. <laughs> have you ever thought about not peeing on your cat? No. No, this is America. Oh no, I'm not gonna <laughs> say that even as a joke. That's clearly not worked well for people in the past. Yeah. I've yeah, never yeah. peed on my cat. I never God. peed on my cat. <laughs> I did not pee on my cat. <laughs> oh oh yeah. my God. Well guys, we are, mm. thanks for joining me for another episode of the Smosh Cast. It's having fun with my boys edition. You got a champion. I really wanna ask right now, how do you guys take your coffee these days? It's funny you ask, because I just changed. I used to be a cream and sugar boy. As of three days ago, I've started doing black coffee, because I'm like, if I'm gonna be a total glutton at home and just eating snacks constantly, I have to pick my poison somewhere, so no more cream and sugar for me. Wow. wow. Yeah. Bro, respect. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could drink black coffee, but the problem is my teeth get stained mm. really easily. So I put in a little bit of half and half just to try to mitigate that. It maybe doesn't mm. do anything, but. I only, t I can only take coffee black if I have like the, like some pumps of sweetener in it and it's cold. I can't do hot black coffee. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Iced black coffee is really good. Yeah. Wait, Damien, are, is that the, the coffee that you're drinking right now? Is that my favorite coffee? I wish, dude. So Ian was nice enough to send us each a box of my favorite coffee. Um, the morning that it got to me, I had just opened up the like worst batch of like <laughs> store brand coffee that I bought during quarantine times because it was literally all that was left on the shelf. But I also wow. have a thing about wasting stuff. So I open it up, make the coffee, then open up the box I just got. And then there's a uh, way better option. So I'll do it in a month. <laughs> I will Ooh, say right. I am drinking my favorite coffee in my Brianna Boho mug. Hey. Wow, amazing. Is yeah, that a amazing. mug that was given to you? At, on tour. Uh, on oh. tour. On tour, yeah, I think too. it was in Portland. Yeah. Was that where yeah. we got it? No, it was uh, Arizona. I think it was Arizona. Arizona? Gives yeah, this. yeah I, I love this mug. It's a big boy mug. Like I can, mm -hmm. I can put a lot of coffee in it. It's a large sun. My favorite coffee is like, I mean, maybe I'm just, no, I think it's stronger than my other coffees. Like it works. Whoa. Ooh, well, because I put the I, same amount. Yeah. For no matter what. Well, the flavor could be more bold. That's for no. Sure. Like I feel my heart racing. Huh. <laughs> it's it's possible. Cause I've heard that like light roasted coffee uh, has a little more caffeine, but I think it's such a nominal amount. Mm. Yeah, oh, I don't um, know. I think maybe just the other coffees I had were actual garbage. I think Ian might just sent you a bag of cocaine. Yeah, yes. I do that sometimes. <laughs> just mix <laughs> it up. Just by accident. Good old Thanks for white coffee. Bag. <laughs> <laughs> good, good old Colombian matcha, they call it. <laughs> Shane, you just put half cocaine. and half, that's it? Yeah, just a little bit of half and half. I don't like to get too crazy. Half and half, mm. I feel like, is like the, the, it's like, it's nothing. Like, because there's like, 
milk and then there's like oat milk and there's almond milk and then like half and half is just like i'm just here like i don't know because there's like no flavor yeah what? half oh, and half I, is half I and half is the stronger. centrists of uh dairy what i taste, <laughs> I taste dairy flavors really yeah. strongly like half and half to me is like back in when I in my major glutton days, I used to take a little bit of half and half, a little bit of sugar and just mix it up in a cup and just have a little treat. <laughs> I remember there was a time when what? Did, it was you no, know, it was late at night at back when Damien and I lived together. <laughs> and my ex at the time was like, I'm really hungry. Is there anything to eat in your kitchen? And Damien turns around from the corner and just goes, well, uh, if you guys are hungry, I could make you some vanilla milk. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is what? It's called being a good roommate. I have extra vanilla milk. I'm gonna give it to you, but, Shane. But it's Dam- like a vanilla like, latte, but without Damien's, the coffee. That was always Damien's thing. Even if we had like actual food, Damien would just always like make some concoction that he would eat. Like that I was call always it, what he. Would. I call it bachelor chow. And it's <laughs> dude, that's sort of- literally. That one episode of The Office where Michael Scott's like, Pam is like, do you have any coffee? And he's like, milk and sugar. And she's like, oh, great. And it's literally just milk and milk sugar. Milk and sugar. Yes. And she's like, do you drink this every day? <laughs> it's so good. That's a medieval so That's a medieval drink right there. Yeah. Like, you know, they used to actually just drink. Probably. It. I don't doubt it. You know what? You're right. And, it, at, and for anybody to be d- drinking like the people did in medieval times, Dimsdale, Dimidome, Damien Haas is probably the guy to do that. <laughs> that's me. Dim, Damien Dale Stimadone. Dim, Dim, um, Ian, how do you take your coffee? I, I mean, I always, I always usually take it black unless, unless I've like let the coffee sit too long on the. If I like, if I did like the Mister Coffee, which is like mm. you know the coffee sits in the pot on mm-hmm. a little like hot plate. If you let it sit too long on there for like an sour. hour or two, yeah, yeah, it gets like I think because it like a lot of the water evaporates, so it just gets like mm-hmm. really nasty. Mm-hmm. And then I'll, I'll spike it with some. With some milk. I thought uh, you were about to just say with some I don't know why I said that like E40. Like, <laughs> like, go yeah, I get like milk, milk, milk rash milk, before milk. the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if you guys, have you guys ever tried uh, like a Vietnamese coffee before? What's no. that? I can't say I have, no. It's like, I think it's a espresso with condensed milk. Oh, I want that in my Is body. Is that the TikTok thing that, that everyone's so doing? Where it's no, like, that's, oh, no, that's that's whipped instant coffee. Yeah. Um, okay, and it's like it, a special name for it, but I don't feel like finding. It's pretty that good. Uh, that it. Doll, it looks cool. Some of the D, right? It looks like the coffee we had in Australia when they make it. It's like when it's, I would get the macchiato mm. and stuff. It was like that thick. Like, mm. look. Yeah, the milk. So. I will say it is unlike any coffee thing you've ever had, probably, because it's sort of like they, they whip it into, like, weird... <laughs> Shane. Shane. Stop. It's, it's whipped What's into, up? like, a weird, like, whipped cream kind of consistency, and you let it, like, drip down into your almond milk or whatever. Uh, it's very mm. weird. It's very good. It's strong. You're going to, like, see the flipping future after you drink yeah. it. And just, yeah. That's funny. Dude, the coffee in general made me... Oh, sorry for for the people who are uh, only listening. Shane did a weird ass move with his uh, chapstick. I, I put I put chapstick on. That is all I did. And it was so I extra. Needed, he uh, made it in an anime event. style. Yes. Oh I feel gosh. Like the, many people will know. There's a TikTok where a guy puts on chapstick in it's the most so theatrical weird. way, I've but he barely it. touches the chapstick to his lips. Mm. It's so good. It's, it's great. So good. Okay, with my coffee, I do caramel almond creamer usually, or hazelnut. Whoa. I love hazelnut. Yum. Not much though. And then sometimes I have this thing that's cinnamon sugar. So it's like cinnamon and sugar mix that I'll just dust mm. on top. When things are normal again, I can't wait to roll through Starbucks and get my uh, iced coffee with four pumps of vanilla or four pumps of hazelnut, whichever. It's delicious. It's called Dalgona coffee. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, I've seen the people. Whip, the whip thing. Me and Olivia tried like, to make it in a live stream like a couple weeks ago, and it was. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, I feel fail. like it's like one of those things where I don't think anyone. I mean, I never heard of it. I feel like nobody knew about it until the quarantine, dude. And I then will all say, of a sudden, everyone's like, "Well, let's we'll all do it." It's, it's like TikTok. one of those weird things. It's TikTok. Every, TikTok. It's got to be TikTok. And I think mm-hmm. it's interesting that our generation is getting something like TikTok during our like quarantine times. Like, I feel like every generation who's had to go through a major, major thing has come up with some invention out of pure necessity, like Dalgona coffee, which sounds like mm-hmm. a thing from Breath of the Wild. But like, we're learning about it through TikTok. So you don't have to like hear about it through your community. It's like the world mm-hmm. all at once immediately knows it. And I it's know a, like- yeah. 
with East and West awesome. Germany, there were those in East Germany who, like, when they were finally liberated, really missed the instant coffee that they had. That was the Ugh. only instant coffee that existed in East Germany. They're like, we can't find it anymore, and I feel it's it's wrong. Like, it's just uh, funny. We're wow. all going to miss our Dalgana after this. That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like TikTok is this new weird form of, like, word of mouth. Like, obviously, it's social media, but it's like mm -hmm. people are finding out just through videos. Like, I will say in quarantine, I've ordered two, at least two items. Like, like one is a, a face mask and then another is mm. like a face oil foundation. And it's just because of TikTok videos or people reviewing on YouTube. Like, I reviewed all these items that people are obsessed with on TikTok so you don't have to. And like, yeah, I ordered multiple things from that and they're great. I'm wearing the face oil foundation right now. <laughs> like, Amazing. Uh, it's and crazy. how does it feel? It's really good. It's like, it was, it's super light because I don't like wearing foundation anymore. So this is kind of just like a tinted moisturizer. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed after like screaming and laughing and eating and stuff, it doesn't like break up around my chin mm. like it normally does. You well, know what I mean? Nice. Don't you guys hate it when that happens? I do. I hate it. Hate it so hate much. It. I do a lot. Yeah. Yeah. But um, so thanks for telling me how you guys take your coffee. I just was <laughs> very curious. It's like one of those things that we don't really think about. And I like I like knowing weird little things like that about you guys. Ian, why are you looking at me like that? What do you mean? <laughs> He's he's FaceTiming you like a parent does when he's, they answer the phone. It's just like they're chilling. They're like, <laughs> why are you hey, geek, sweetie? You're I'm geek walking squatting. to my computer. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me? <laughs> Love I you, think Mom. you're frozen. Oh, all right. Well, let's move on to the next segment, which is going to be mm -hmm. actually manned by a man. Manned? Oh, manned, snap. Led by uh, Bob the Builder, <laughs> if he was also a building, Shane Top. All right. That's, there's a description. <laughs> uh, yes, and it, my dude. I yeah. think I'm, I'm saying that because that was a draft in my tweet, in my Twitter, and I think that works for whatever you're gonna lead mm. today. Um, all right, uh, so uh, I was I was thinking, uh, I was looking through my phone the other day and I came across a bunch of old sketch ideas that I'd written down that never got made. And I thought, wouldn't it be awesome to take this time to talk about or read out or whatever. Yes. Sketches, tweets, vines, TikToks, just any ideas that we ever had that have never and probably will never see the light of day. So we can just talk yes. about them now and yes. just laugh. Uh, Cause I know I have plenty. I'm sure you guys do. Damien has told me ideas from like you, 10. You 10 remember ideas ago. that I do not, that came from me. I remember so something that told me 10 years ago that never got made that I think is so funny. So I oh, would yeah. love for us to just like, I don't know, give, give the, the listeners a taste of what, insanity goes on in our brains that that never makes it to the screen nice Thank uh does right, anyone want to go into my notes does anyone i'm gonna have... quickly hop in my notes in my in so Twitter drafts, but i do I, have a few i, I oh, yeah, have go, a Ian. folder on my laptop oh snap titled unused video ideas and it has 94 items in it oh my god <laughs> oh my <laughs> wait goodness. Are, so how, how old do these go back ian i mean they go back like like way back you're talking like like 2007 probably uh actually i'd have to order by let me order by date oh man i'm going through my drafts now and these are dope i'm gonna start tweeting a couple while we're doing this <laughs> do they have to be pit all like can they be pit and it can be anything stuff? any any ideas you had like i have pit ideas that never got made i have plenty of sketches i have tweet drafts yeah. that i'm never gonna act like legitimately post yeah okay so the oldest one i have on here is from <laughs> 2008. <laughs> All right, so Ian, so, save that for the end. So you guys oh are going to get... Oh, my God. The listeners Any are of gonna, these if, cancelable? If, if, yeah, Ian, are, oh, yeah. You, <laughs> are you able to read this sketch idea? Yeah. Okay, then yeah, save there, it there's for a, the end. There's and a let's few. disclaim so listeners, real quick that these are old video ideas, and a lot of these videos maybe weren't made for a reason, so relax mm -hmm, before yeah. anybody freaks out. I'm Calm so down. ready to hear but these. But dude, I'm we like... get to hear an OG Smosh sketch that mm -hmm. never made. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's a re like even back then we didn't make it. So you know it's going to be real <laughs> oh, bad. Um, oh my God, amazing. Uh, yeah, do we want to take turns? I don't have nearly as many. I just have like inklings of some and then some that like got kind of far and we never did. But like. Okay. <laughs> I got a handful. So. <laughs> um, Ian's reading. I'll go ahead. I really want to hear one. <laughs> I'll go I'm ahead just laughing because I have one titled, 
I have one titled Saran Wrap. And the only thing I wrote was a video about one of us struggling to cut Saran Wrap. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's funny though. That's so relatable. That's got to be. And TikTok. you know that would have you know that would have trended in two thousand eight. That's yeah. such a yeah. Gus Johnson one, video today. Mm -hmm. Gus Johnson would have made know, that yesterday. I don't even know what we were even going at there. It's just funny. <laughs> that is some two thousand eight crap. All right. Uh, we each have Sorry. trouble cutting Saran wrap. Relatable. Um, all right. It is a pain All list. right. I'll go first. I'm going to read a couple tweets, drafts that, are, that mm. I'm never going to okay. make. Uh, so I have this one. This is from way back. It's probably from like two years ago. And it just says, first date, her. I'm really religious. I like love the Bible. Me. Oh, yeah. Same. Her. Really? What's your favorite verse? Me. Um, uh, Polynesians 36. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty dumb. Pretty dumb. Uh, <laughs> I don't get it. Have, the one right beneath it is uh, at a party. Me. Okay, let's go around and say what our religions are. <laughs> okay, I'll go first. I believe all animals can talk, but they just don't want to. What about you, Jeff? Jeff, uh, Catholic? <laughs> <laughs> you like uh, reverse the punchline yeah. there. Like yeah. <laughs> you went with the wacky and then set up normalcy. I like yeah. it. Just insanely dumb things. And then beneath that, I have something that just says boy and lava bitch. So wow. <laughs> what love there? that. <laughs> I don't know what love that. Um, I had that one sketch. I don't know if Shane, maybe you remember it because I w came to with it a lot and we we're kind of getting excited about it, just kind of figuring out how we would do it. But remember only 90s kids? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it was I like that, that. that parody. But, like, but I still want to do that. I mean, is it st is it like topical still? Like the 90s are always topical. Yeah, but only 90s kids. I mean, that was a pretty specific meme, but it's yeah. not that we can't yeah. do it. But and, it was, it, and it was like referencing things from the 90s, and then it starts referencing really messed up things from the 90s, and then Noah <laughs> yeah. like goes insane in it. Um, yeah, I think I think one of the things that I, I think the reason why we never made it was because we never really could come to a conclusion on what to do with it because... Mm. One of the things I wanted to do like towards the end of the song was uh, start referencing all these things that didn't happen in the 90s. Oh, yeah, but, like, but I was down for that. Only 90s kids like know this. Like, yeah, when. Uh, and it's I like don't... photosynthesis facts. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's just all just like weird shit that never happened. Like, yeah, like when Oprah uh, killed that guy in. in <laughs> Time I bet square. you were on my old computer. I wonder if I have the stuff. Do you got the stuff? You got you the stuff. Should I stuff. find it? Should I? You got the stuff. I should open up my old laptop, but there's a bunch of dumb in there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Um, Hell yeah. I'll be right back. Damien, do you want to start talking about yours? I'm sorry. I won't be. Yeah. Um, I'm going to hold off on like tweet drafts. I used to be in an improv troupe in college um, and I loved it. It was a really fun uh, experience and I did it uh, for all the little while I was in college and uh, we did an annual sketch show. Uh, no, semi-annual sketch show. We do two a year, um, sell out these big theaters. Like we'd actually pack it with like 200 people, mostly our friends, but it was just a lot of fun. And so you could sort of do whatever because we were dumb and in college and it didn't matter. So my favorite one that never saw the light of day was when I started to dip into like historically specific knowledge that nobody could like understand or find funny and i wrote a sketch called the history of table flips like <laughs> it was a joke for me at the time that like whenever anybody said anything that was like mildly bs i'd be like oh, oh and pretend to flip a table so i wrote an entire sketch about it um it had three beats uh the first being uh of course the last no it was a caveman situation no lines just screaming around a table and then flipping it uh, the second would be The Last Supper with Jesus of Nazareth. Um, and there was a whole situation there. And then the third was either World War One or World War Two, where it was allied powers just talking about stuff. And I'd have very specific names where it was like, but Duke Wilhelm of Norway, don't you think <laughs> this? And it's like, well, no, Denmark, I think this. And boom. um, wasn't funny like most sketches <laughs> should be. So it did not see the light of day. But I was very proud at the time. I'll say that sketch makes like from your brain that sketch makes a lot of sense thanks man. i remember going to one of your sketch shows and the sketch that you had written was a sitcom 
where a kid finds a genie lamp yes. and his mom becomes Tilda Swinton. Yes, his mom is <laughs> Tilda Swinton. His, his mom doesn't become Tilda Swinton. His mom just is Tilda Swinton now. You know what I mean? So literally like, it would be like, I come downstairs and I'm like, good morning, mom, <laughs> Tilda Swinton. And then you'd hear like an audience laugh track and she'd be like, I was in the golden compass. Did you see that movie? I'm like, oh, mom, <laughs> Tilda Swinton. Then audience laugh track. <laughs> And then I had a brother who came downstairs who uh, kept finding poop, and it was his. And that's that was the whole punchline. That was my college improv troupe. I've hell yeah somehow grown and regressed at the same time. Well, God, <laughs> so good. Yeah. Small businesses are grappling with the impact of these uncertain times and looking for resources. That's why Dell Technologies assembled an all-star lineup of podcasters to create the first ever virtual conference to share advice and inspiration for small businesses. Dell Technologies recommends Windows 10 Pro for business. Search Dell Technologies Small Business Podference on radio.com, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts starting May 1st. Due to the times that we live in right now, it's not surprising if you have two or three high interest credit cards in your wallet right now. So why not pay them off with a credit card consolidation loan from my friends at Lightstream? Quickly roll balances from multiple credit cards into one single monthly loan payment. One of the reviews from one of their clients said, heard a commercial, checked into a consolidation loan, and just a few hours later had my approval and funds ready to be transferred. Awesome. Lightstream's credit card consolidation loans have rates from just 5.95 APR with auto pay, and there are absolutely no fees. Apply today to get a special interest rate discount and save even more. The only way to get this discount is to go to lightstream.com slash smosh. That's L-I-G-H-T-S-T-R-E-A-M dot com slash S-M-O-S-H. Subject to credit approval, rate includes 0.5% auto pay discount. Terms and conditions apply and offers are subject to change without notice. Visit lightstream.com slash mosh for more information. Should I throw a couple out? Yeah, throw throw some some gold our way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Golden All compass, right. Tilda Swinton. Uh, yeah. This one was from two thousand. Well, I guess we wrote down a series of ideas that I that I put on a text file that said video ideas one ten thirteen. So I guess January tenth of two thousand thirteen. So seven years ago, not that bad. Um, that would have been still we were still shooting in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a music video about how great nature is. Mm -hmm. um, two people singing about it, not rap, more singing like the hair bat, like a hair ballad or a Disney song, shot in a forest, lake, or other nature areas. But it's obvious that the people singing the song can't stand to be around nature because it's gross and disgusting. Video starts to fall apart throughout the song as they all freak out over nasty stuff in nature. Sounds like a modern, like traveling vlog couple that hates nature. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it sounds this sounds very relevant to now. Yeah, so this holds up. They're trying to talk about how great nature is, but they're being bit by mosquitoes and walking through mud and touching trees and being attacked by bats and birds. Was That's that inspired awesome. by like insane clown posse magnets? Was it written around that time? Oh, yeah, probably. I That's mean, the that vibe I'm getting. 2013, I mean, that's yeah. Right. yeah wow. Be. Wow. Um, wow. Uh, I mean, nothing can beat the Saran Wrap video. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about the Saran Wrap. <laughs> I love that. I think you I should make that sketch. I that's found the new Tinder for hot dogs. Such a gold mine, guys, on my old computer. Ooh. I actually ended up uh, pitching a bunch of these for the like rejected commercials that we did when we first came back to. Uh, uh, when we first like came back with Mythical. Mm -hmm. So this was like, a re it started out as rejected PSAs. Uh, there's this one that we didn't use that I have written on here. Uh, and it says, uh, Harry Styles looks to the camera. And I wrote in parentheses, or it could be any sort of cool or masculine man. Uh, and Harry Styles says, hi, I'm Harry Styles. And today I'm here to talk to you about a subject that is dear to my heart. Then it says, happy musical voice with a fun title card. And it just goes, ain't no bleaching. <laughs> what? That's so That's you. What? That is so uh, you. I'm not surprised at all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Good your brain. Your brain I, it's is beautiful, and I love it. All right, who's God. next? Uh, Courtney, I think you are. 
Oh, sh**. Okay, oh, well, I snips. found... I found... Okay, sometimes when I have, like... If it's not a full sketch idea, I'll just think of a really funny, like, back and forth of dialogue that I'll want to, mm. like, insert into a sketch somehow. So here's, like, random quotes, like, this tastes like chewed up pigeon. <laughs> um, or this one is two people talking. Ew, did someone fart? And this one's like, I didn't. Did you? And the first person's like, no, this was definitely not me. This fart smells disgusting. And I love the smell of my farts. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Um, it just sounds like my brother. Um, I have one, just a text just saying superheroes have to go to the DMV too. <laughs> Batman straight up does have to go to the DMV. Like Bruce Wayne has to. Hell yeah. Go. Yeah. Do you think the, the Batmobile? Yeah. His superpowers That's, cannot help him there. It's very similar to the next sketch I'm about to talk about. Nice. Which is weird. Um, I also had, oh, we, we talked about doing this, but we just kind of, I think it just kind of gets forgotten. The uh, Hoarders Camera Roll Edition. Oh, oh God, that's oh, so wow. good. Holy crap. That's so good. That's really good. Um, the date referee. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I like that's, dating fouls. I feel like that's, that should be like an honest, like that should be a dating show on Netflix. A date, like a, a referee, like helping the date along. Yeah, like you get a foul or like a red flag or a yellow flag if you do something yeah. that you shouldn't be doing on the date. But I don't want in. them to like gently adjust the date. I want them to like blow a whistle for well, like yeah. 30 <laughs> full seconds. Oh yeah, like, while throw they're the just, flag like, like there right waiting. onto your food. <laughs> just continuously. Oh, God. Yes. And then the last one I'll say for this turn is, uh, okay, so a, I think a year ago I needed to buy a sleeping bag to go hiking. And I just wanted like a simple sleeping bag. Uh, so I went to like REI or, or one of those, like just one of those camping stores. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I just need a single person sleeping bag. It's going to be kind of cold. Though. He's like, okay, this one is good for a 30 degree weather. And it's a single person. And I was like, okay, cool. And I just bought it. I didn't really like look at it. So then I went camping with my friends and like they have their normal, you know, it's like flat, like foldy mm -hmm. sleeping bag. And then I get into mine and it's literally the tightest little like sarcophagus worm. I hate that. Sleeping bag that literally can zip all the way up to your face. Mm -hmm. That's so, awesome. And so I was Hate like, that. my friends were just laughing at me from across the tent as I'm like wiggling and writhing around in my little Amazing. sleeping bag. The next morning you were a butterfly. Yeah. And so I put, <laughs> I put this um, extreme hiker bundled up in their mummy sleeping bag, but still threatening to beat your ass. So like imagine <laughs> a couple is like, accidentally walking through the campsite. He's like, hey, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing, bro? And he's just like a worm on the ground. <laughs> like, I'll beat your ass. And he's just like- That's very all... like modern day Monty Python. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. like, like, get over there. I'll kick just, your ass. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> you can't kick my ass. You're stuck in there. I'm not stuck. I'm <laughs> yeah. suited up. It's a choice. <laughs> it's a choice. I can and leave any time. It's armor, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I'm nice Can and warm. You, how are you going to get over here? <laughs> I'm a wiggle. I'm a wiggle over there. I've learned from nature being out here. <laughs> I'm I like am snake. nature. A coyote's like nipping at the at sleeping bag. He's like, oh, get away. <laughs> <laughs> His little toes. <laughs> Why, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you watch him get eaten by animals yeah, and he can't Yeah, a bear just out. drags him away. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Okay. If it were Monty Python, they'd be like, they'd be like, "Do you need help?" And he's like, "I don't need help." Yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I trained him to do this. I trained him to eat you. I did. I did. <laughs> I'm I a did. master of nature. All right. Um, who's next? Okay. I think believe is it, it's is it you or is it me? I believe or? it's me. I, I think I went it's after, Courtney, after Courtney last no? time. Okay. Great. Oh. Um, this was the first sketch I ever pitched when uh, joining that improv troupe. Um, it is. Very timing based, so I'm gonna talk about it and it's not gonna hit the same, but that's okay. So imagine the view from like a TV and it's just two roommates sitting there playing video games, except one of them is clearly Batman in a full on like bat suit costume, just incredibly, incredibly well done. It is clearly Batman. So I want like a minute and a half of you just hear no dialogue, just like the lights on their face from the TV, uh, the controller just clacking like a, like a, <laughs> then eventually one turns to the other and is like, hey man, I gotta ask, are you Batman? And he goes, no. And then he's like, all right. 
<laughs> and that's the whole sketch. The alternate end is that you go for another minute of playing video games and then Batman grapples out the window for some reason. <laughs> nice. yeah, he, yeah, you see the, the little search the little, light in the, mm-hmm. out in the window. Like, and, like, and then the roommate's still just like, I think he might be Batman. <laughs> <laughs> that's and that's great. the whole thing. That's awesome. They didn't like it. Oh, my art was not appreciated in its I'm time. I'm so sorry. I know. Life That's is hard. pretty. It's pretty great. Thank you. I like that you wrote that. You wrote that for Comedus, you said? Yeah. I like the grappling hook. Like you were going to do a full on Spider-Man on Broadway type thing. <laughs> Complete <laughs> with injuries. And just, yeah. <laughs> full on with you breaking your legs. Commit to your craft, man. For the sake of art. Would yeah. Would you break your legs for an improv scene? I would. That's so. full. The problem is that's not space work. <laughs> <laughs> It's too real. That's true. Um, That's, I love that. I I have a sketch idea that I found this morning that I had written years ago and it's called Guillotine. And so it takes place in the 1700s. We're at a town square and a man is about to be uh, beheaded. Mm -hmm. Um, And a judge is up there and he surveys the crowd and he says, you have all gathered here today to witness the execution of a foul criminal found guilty of many horrible crimes. We, uh, we see the guilty man bent over, um, uh, he looks sad and defeated. On my count, the rope shall be cut, and this wretched soul will be thrown to the fiery abyss of hell. Three, two, one. And then a uh, commoner stands up. And he goes, wait. And uh, he, the, before the executioner can kill the man, uh, this commoner gets up and he goes, let him live. No man is deserving of such a death. You do not have the authority to make that judgment, and neither do you. Only God has the right to strike down those he deems guilty. The commoner turns and speaks to the crowd. This man is a human being, just like you and I, with a story and a family. Tell me, sir, what is your passion? Uh, the man looks up uh, and he says, uh, writing opinion posts on Facebook? See, wait, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> then I read other people's posts and play devil's advocate to their argument. No matter what it is, the crowd begins chattering. They clearly want him dead. Wait, 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 uh, that's, that's but one facet of this being. Tell me about yourself. What makes you, uh, tell me what makes you a human being? Uh, well, I love movies. Oh, uh, what kind? Uh, probably anything with Larry the Cable Guy. The, the crowd disapproves. Uh, any, anything else? Uh, probably any TV show with Ashton Kutcher. Uh, you've never, you've never seen like, I don't know, like Breaking Bad? Uh, it was boring. Kill him! <laughs> oh my words. God! Like, the commoner keeps trying and he's like, come on, there's gotta be something that, something unique and special about you. He's like, well, I never turn right on red. <laughs> it's just like, just, just, Amazing. just being the worst Jesus person. Christ. That almost sounds like a Rick and Morty thing to me, where like Morty's trying to convince them that like, you know, I don't know how you do it here, but on earth, this man deserves a trial. And then he's just like the worst man. Oh, yeah. God. I, they like I think you created Rick and Morty. They always do that switch it where it's worse. Like, it's like the one where they, the guy, uh, uh, Morty fights for his life. He's like, mm. no, Rick, don't kill him. Like hell doesn't exist, whatever. And at the end, he gets hit over by a car and he gets dragged to hell. He's like, oh, I blame you. I it's blame real. <laughs> All of this was real. I blame you. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, yes. yes. I love um, this. Yes. Okay. So. Oh, God. Uh, y'all remember uh, that damn neighbor? By any yes, chance? sir. So, of course. So it was like one of the most. Oh, yeah. One of the more like popular characters that we created like way back in the day, it was uh, these two like hillbilly characters, Cletus and Benny Jean, and then this neighbor character that would just stand there and always try to steal Cletus's uh, flamingo, fl- flamingo, lawn flamingo. Mm-hmm. So it was it was popular. People wanted more of it, and we made three, and we never made the fourth, but we wrote. An outline for it. Ooh. Oh, didn't uh, we see the guy who plays the yeah, that damn neighbor a, in uh, Sacramento? Times. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we met yeah. a few times, but that was the last time we saw. Yeah, I I, I brought him out to the to the live show. Yeah, that was yeah. great. And he drank he drank your your uh, your cider. My cider. That's okay. I was too busy <laughs> doing my skin routine to <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, and this this whole outline is two lines, so clearly didn't get that far. Mm. Right. Um, and we. So here here it is. 
Um, all that's written is that uh, Benny Jean and Cletus use a grappling hook to go over a five foot fence and they're scared to jump down and Cletus Cletus accidentally falls on the flamingo and it goes up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I can already see Amazing. the I can already see the art department creating the flamingo that's supposed to look like it's up, up the neighbor's mm-hmm. ass. ass. Yeah. I can already see them working on it. Like, oh my god, that's god incredible. Damn, that's actually dude, I'm actually laughing at the idea of a sketch where some people are trying to hop a fence, but they get stuck at the top of it, and the whole sketch is them on top of the fence being scared to jump down. For like I days. love that. I love Brand. stuff like that. Like simple stuff like that. Yeah. Um, oh, God. Let's see. Let me throw one more out. Any really bad ones? Yeah, yeah. You're saying that wasn't a really bad one? Yeah. Uh, Ian, these, these are all amazing sketches. Yeah. I would make actually. these tomorrow. Right. Today. <laughs> oh. What? What? You have to read it now. You have to read oh, it. Oh, God. I mean, if it's too bad, we're just going to not. Okay. Um, this is. Again, long failed. time ago. Something labeled failed TV shows. All that's, written, all that's written is a narcoleptic knife slash gun slash scissor instructor slash salesman. Oh. Um, and then the other the other failed TV show that we wrote. Well, then we wrote something about New Jersey. That's what was written. <laughs> something and about New literally Jersey. Yeah. Anything about New Jersey. Just <laughs> and then and then the last one. So back in the day, um, like listicles were a really big thing on like websites like before before social media took over everyone's time on the internet Mm -hmm. there existed websites who would have thunk wow and these websites you would go to them to do things other than tweet or post pictures or do fun fun dances and uh so we had a website uh and smosh.com and uh we had this thing called the smosh pit and that is where we posted all these like funny, like 10 funny things about this, like 10, of, it was like tattoo fails and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had like writers put like, make these listicles. I guess I also wrote a bunch of ideas for these listicles and they're super fucking cringy. Uh, and obviously we never made it. It was just like, just, Stream of consciousness. Uh, Pop so here's off. here's some here's some listicle ideas. Ten pictures of my balls. Very close. <laughs> Picture uh, number one. <laughs> ten reasons why string cheese is cooler than ninjas. Oh my god, Ian! Keep going. Nice. Uh, nice. Ten works of art that suck. <laughs> Ooh, number one, That's the Mona funny. Lisa. It does. These are it so really fucking cringy. Ten ways. To defeat a drunk pirate. Oh my God, Ian! Ten worst police sketches. That's actually actually that would be. That'd be good, I think yeah. that's a good. That's a good list. There's a good one. No, but that it's literally a uh, police officer sketch comedy at like the officers' ball every year. It's like, <laughs> yeah, find videos of that. That's what. You're <laughs> yeah, these are, are making these guy. are like making me tear up because they're so cringe. Five movies that were so bad they were awesome. Oh, I, I make, I'm the queen of those lists. Yeah, uh, that's a that's a normal list. Vegetables that look like penises. <laughs> oh my god, that is okay. some teenage Ian. All right, moving on. Moving Hold on. Hold on, there's more. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Courtney, there's more. Celebrities with weird eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Steve Buscemi that's ten so times. So mean. <laughs> oh, and it says in parentheses, like as an instruction for this list call. Um, to flip the eyes around. Oh, oh my that's God. funny. Uh, here's another one. Oh Celebrities with weird mouths. Oh, my God. Owen Wilson. Um, wow. For Owen Wilson like that? His and lips that's, are crazier than our own. That, is that it? Save some more. Save some more. What? Okay, I'm just going to say this one, though, because I don't understand it. Maybe I stopped writing in the middle of the sentence. <laughs> what is it? I don't. I do it. I Read don't, it okay. off. Read it. Words. If sea animals. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what the f- Okay. All right. <laughs> Come on. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm high right now. Read. If sea animals had eggs. What? I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know what it's supposed if, to mean. If, you are if, the highest non-smoker in the planet. If, if sea, sea animals, animals had, had eggs. eggs. Not laid eggs, if they just had them. <laughs> like a seahorse just holding like a chicken <laughs> egg, is that what you mean? But but what's confusing is that it's, it's spelled, eggs is spelled just E-G-S. So was I r- about to write something and I got distracted? Or did I... Is that an acronym? Like, yeah. I don't see you being any oh. anywhere near sober writing I'm this. I'm crying. <laughs> I okay. don't kind of crack I didn't were you smoking. Smoke. I never, at this time in my life, I probably partook in marijuana twice. Whoa. So you're Whoa. two times a criminal. Cancel and look him. what it did to you. Sea <sighs> oh animals had eggs. <laughs> What if sea animals had eggs? <laughs> Yo, hold on. But what if, guys, what if sea animals had eggs? They, oh my God, dude. Dude, dude. dude, we should, we well, should get a sea did. animal. We should get a sea animal, give oh, it an egg, God. and just see what happens. Well, that's, what I'm telling you, that's what's wrong with the government is that sea animals don't have eggs, man. <laughs> God. What? God. Well, that's she incredible. Eggs. Yeah. yeah. That was wrong with the world. Uh, I, also eggs. Have, I also have a folder of like pictures that I saved way back in the day because I thought, oh, like maybe that'd be funny for like a Smosh Pit article. And they're super cringy. Okay, save them for the next round. Save them for save the next them. round. Too much fire. I have <laughs> this one. A guy who's pissed off at girls for sneakily shopping in the men's section. <laughs> He like stands guard in the men's section at Target and he's like, literally, hey, hey. And the girls are all like deer in headlights and like run off because amazing. I'm always getting the men's flannels or like giant crew necks and stuff. So imagine a guy like trying to gatekeep the men's section from women. That's funny. Like as if like women have taken so many things from men and so they can't have their flannels um, and it would be like a little bit of social commentary of a woman or like another dude being like hey man it's all right i wear women's tank tops like i don't know and it's just like ripped off of his body yeah, <laughs> yeah. he's a huge dude it's like hardly on him oh my god remember when shane remember when you wore the clever the clever tv tank top on oh my Sleepover? god yeah clever tv had these little tank tops and i wore one and i mean it i was they having gave trouble it to breathing. you i was having trouble breathing in it. Wow. Because uh, they were so made very funny. small. Oh, uh, and this one is called Sheeple Characters. I remember I really wanted to have a sketch. And I think it like would have started with like us being ourselves and like some crazy thing happening. And then all of a sudden, like a group of people who look very bland, very basic, walk up and like, hey, we saw there's a crowd over here. Thought we'd see what was up. I was like, uh, why? They go, you know, like, oh, well, we pulled over because we saw there was some police cars and like a crowd. So like just like sheeple who do things like, oh, there's this line. So we decided to get in line. Like, oh, that's actually really funny. You know, like, oh, there was a sale at Target. So we went to Target during their sale. Like like things that people don't do. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take this really dark and we can cut it. But it's like if someone was about to jump off a bridge and they're like, oh, what are we in line for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right oh my behind God. them, like, oh, hell what yeah. Are you next. <laughs> yeah. Like, just like sheeple that all will do things because, like, oh, there's a sign that says, like, sign up here. So we're going to, like, sign up for this it thing. It reminds me. Yeah. It reminds me. There's this uh, Mitchell and Webb sketch. Um, they're a British sketch duo where it's a guy. If, a mediator between two politicians and the politicians keep telling him things like my opponent uh, is a liar and actually wants to tank the economy. And the mediator is like, Oh my God, I, c- I can't believe that. And believing like, everything that's, that's they're saying. Why, why would you do that? He's like, no, my, I would, I've never said that my opponent actually is taking money from big funders and he wants to uh, bring big oil back and destroy the na- nature. And he's like, Oh my God, what? Like oh, I, just, love <laughs> that. I love that. I love that. So good. Amazing. I but have, you didn't you didn't write that. No, idea. that is a Mitchell and Webb sketch. They that's are That's really funny. I like okay. that. Okay. Okay. Um, there's this thing I wrote that's literally just What up? I'm Saint Deandra, but you can just call me S T D D. That's a great character. I think I was trying to write like some sort of trailer for when we came back from the shutdown. Mm-hmm. And it was going to be like action movie-ish and it would have everyone in it. Like all of us jam-packed into a van. Basically, it looks like something like a, like a fan fiction would have writ- like written. 
Mm-hmm. Nice. Like where it's like, oh, Joven has all these lines and then Anthony's even there, like just wishing us luck. And like, oh. yeah. And then the end is like the VO of like coming this spring to a channel you should probably be subscribed to already. Notification squad, where are you at? Retweet this if you will have bad luck for, or you will have bad luck for three months. Alexa, stop. Subscribe to PewDiePie. Oh my God. <laughs> Just everything. Just Amazing. like all this weird sh- Hell yeah. Um, I'll be right back. Go, Damien. Okay, good. I'll While Shane's it. gone, I can finally get all my good stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've always wanted to like write a sketch where um, someone has like a very long and complicated name that starts with a D and then they realize like, you know, no one's going to want that, but they're also a peanut farmer. So they keep selling uh, D's nuts. And it's just a, it's just like a three to four minute sketch where they're very like earnestly like, that's why I put so much care into these nuts. Oh my nice. God. Then, so that's one. That's, it's that's similar. It. That's similar to our, um, <clears throat> the, the apple cider. cider company. Yeah. Yeah. Dixon yeah. Cider. Dude, we but should. I, I didn't watch Smosh though. So I don't, I don't know. Speaking no. of Dixon cider, you know how we have a coffee? We should make a cider and call it Dixon cider. Well, we got to make it. We got to make it from apples from the town of Dixon. Whoa. Hell yeah. Otherwise, it's a lie. It's a lie. But we actually, should. that's a great idea. I just don't know how. Hey, anybody know shit. any breweries? Hit Actually, yes. Oh, you know. oh, because I was thinking like apple cider, but I wasn't thinking like alcoholic cider. I mm. mean, we could just do we could do a non-alcoholic version and alcoholic version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just sky's the limit. Your girl, your girl's favorite uh, party drink is just a plain old cider, bro. Nice. It's Dixon just cider. it's just juice. It's um, just juice, spicy juice. I have a couple more. If I yes, may. go for um, it. I used to be like super anti like apple stuff because I was like an, a full of piss and vinegar as like a young 20s man and I was like very angry about like how the company was run so I would always pitch a sketch every year where like there was a bunch of people in a line and it'd be like hey what are you guys waiting for and at this time it was like older so they're like the new iPhone 6 like it just came out so we have to get it and you're like oh man you guys always get this new thing you don't need a new phone all the time like they've got you wrapped around their finger and then someone mm-hmm. on the line's like hey buddy for your information i have to get this new phone today because like as soon as they announced it my old phone stopped working and then someone else on the line's like me too and they're like yeah me too they're like yeah me too smart guy and it's like all right and then oh you see, a, see a problem with that and they're like no he's like all right and then he just joins the line because it is a cool phone <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. oh my God. and then uh and now i have an apple and then i have a few tweets that i'll never uh release um norman reedus with diabetes in adidas sent tweet <laughs> yes <laughs> oh yes come on <laughs> just tweet it i might i'm so, so good i might I'm do bummed. that I deleted Twitter this week, and so all my drafts are gone. Oh no! You deleted. The I deleted Twitter for a couple of days to give myself a break from the craziness. It's smart. But, you tweet us, delete us. I tweet us, delete us, see us, lapid us, breed us. But it's back, and now my drafts are gone. But it's okay. I think a lot of it was just me, t- like tweeting my opinion about something. So it wasn't like mm. funny. So it was like this is pointless. I'll mm. just write it out so I, I get it out of my system constantly have opinion stuff uh just saved in drafts because i'm like i don't want (laughs) to throw my hat in any ring like i started one with like the whole covid situation where and it's literally half a draft where it just says maybe just maybe if you need to constantly remind someone to wash their hands and then it just cuts off i'm like yep whatever statement (laughs) i was gonna gonna say there was not needed um i've also got um what's your favorite gilligan's island theme song Mm. um (laughs) And then there's the Twitter do your thing meme where people like mm. want the social media to fix it. So I just wrote, haven't taken a dump all day. Twitter do your thing. <laughs> oh. um, I love stuff like that. That's Why great. did you fail your midterm? Wrong answers only. And that's a double ha, ha, joke because nice. there's wrong answers. So. Well nice. done. Thank you. I like that. Yeah, I always, I always like feel like it's nice to get your opinion out there. But I really like keeping my Twitter just like just mm-hmm. funny, dumb stuff. Same. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not everybody needs to know my opinion on every little thing. Yeah. It's not that special. Also, yeah. Also, a million people like have already said it that are more important than me. So that's true. <laughs> like, I think opinions are important, but opinions on Twitter, I just don't think it ever does anything. Yeah. That's that's my opinion. Anyways. Um, but when we started this this 
pod, I forgot that I have literally a book of bad ideas. Whoa. Oh, nice. um, so what a good I, way to finish this off. Well, we need still Ian's 2008 yeah. sketch, but but here's a couple. Uh, Courtney is on her period, and it just turns her into a middle aged man. Oh yeah, um, I remember you talking about that one. I have Scrabble Migos edition, um, <laughs> nice. where uh, someone's just like, "Oh, flu, sweet, flu. I won." Uh, yeah, I've got, I've got uh, going across. <laughs> um, skirt, uh, skirt. Oh, going back in time and finding out that everyone has weird voices. So you go back to the oh. 1800s and everyone's like, hey, how's it going? And it's like, wait, what? It's like, yeah, this is how everyone talks in the 1800s. You didn't know? And it's just like, what? Yeah, because we couldn't the, hear them. Nice. You go back to the middle age and just like, hey, how's it going? It's just like, this is what people <laughs> talk like? It's like, what are you talking about? It's yeah. Like, we have no to, idea. You go to 1300s, it's like. <laughs> um, and then uh, a sketch, uh, not necessarily a sketch, but just a visual that Damien and I talk about all the time is if Damien mm -hmm. and I were invincible and had super strength, how much fun it would be to just occasionally just like punch one of us so hard that we're just flying. You just, just like, we get launched into space just like. It's like us just like our like shirt fluttering. Just two indestructible someone, someone dudes. In the middle, someone in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean sees something skidding across the ocean. And it's just <laughs> Damien, smile on his face, just <laughs> launching. He's just like, shoo. Just like, it's like <laughs> so bad. You just like punch him and he just like flies into space. The moon just kind of shatters. Oh my God. <laughs> Stuff like that. But we're fine. We could do we're that. We're invincible. But just, I just laugh at the visual of just launching each other. Let's film it, dude. Yeah, let's just film it. Let's just we'll film. Just, just hire a stunt team. That's mm -hmm. all you need. Oh my god! How do I share? You, is, do you have any more, or, or should I? No, let's have. My let's let's out? you be the finale guy, and then yeah. we're right. ready to shoot. Do okay. that. I think. I, yeah, I think we're running out of time. So yeah. Ian, all right. Give this, so give us this ancient gold. This is an idea that that we had pretty much like completely written out, and we just never did it because I don't think it was that funny. Mm -hmm. um, but it's about. It's called Action News, and it's about uh, about like the news stations ratings are tanking, so they decide that they need to make the news more interesting and more actiony, just kind of like a satire of real news. Shows the intro, shows different characters, weather with Randy, a bomb diffuser as one of the people that's on the show. Come on, sell this sketch to us, man. I am a, a female uh, news anchor. Go to a guy that's that's doing the weather and he's standing in front of a green screen. It's, okay. It's all bad. Uh, <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> the fans uh, have been waiting for I'm, this moment. I, no, it's... Okay, there's a guy standing outside with an umbrella and he's wearing a raincoat and he's over-exaggerating everything, saying the wind is like 40 miles an hour when it's obviously not very windy. Ian, you are describing the news. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are describing the actual news right now. Breaking news of a mudslide terrorizing a city. It shows a scene of an obviously fake small house on a muddy hill with somebody pouring water on it. Uh, goes a reporter in front of a green screen with maps on the freeway. He's talking about the traffic. Goes a live shot of the freeway. The reporter makes comments about how bad the traffic is and makes a comment about how a guy changing a lane almost created an accident. It's it's so, so it's bad. Like, so it's like them trying to make action out of a very Nothing. boring news day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, so you kind of oh get, my god. Kind of get what the joke is like immediately, and then yeah, it's sort like of keep going. Yeah, that that's the thing. It's all the same joke, yeah. and they're like, "Let's go to traffic." Nice. Like, oh my god, it's so dangerous. Like that guy, it's bad. Mm. Like I said, there's a bomb diffuser guy. He's diffusing a nuclear warhead, and just at the moment that he's about to do it, the head of the news station barges in says that they're says the ratings just came in we're the most watched news station on television bomb diffuser jumps up and says all right ceo says larry the bomb the bomb diffuser looks down and says, oh and then stock footage of a nuclear blast <laughs> <laughs> Because like <laughs> half the videos that we made back then ended with somebody getting shot or somebody mm -hmm. blowing up. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, oh man. Yeah, yeah, you have you have either a flamingo going up someone's ass. Yep. Your explosion. 
Oh, yeah. I like I like this outline. Uh, this outline is called Zelda in Current Time, and I clicked it, and nothing was written. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, that's it wouldn't a, work. He wouldn't be able to do any of the stuff he does. It doesn't work. It's a great yeah. sketch. That's I love that sketch. Amazing. <laughs> it's my favorite sketch. There's a lot There's a lot more. So if we decide to do this again, we I got can a definitely lot more. Again. Got a lot more gold. I I'm, love this. I, I didn't touch. I've got, I've got a good amount of sketches I did not touch on. So yeah, I'm sure I can find some more. This is like, I'm when I'm looking in a super old dinosaur laptop. There's some weird stuff in here, like weird poetry, uh, mm -hmm. like weird ideas for jobs that I would love to have one day. <laughs> like, yeah. So, oh. So weird. Great. Um, but, uh, but this is a great idea, Shane. Yeah. Good call. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So shall we bring it into the shoot, dude, and then wrap this yeah. big old baby, let's, little let's, baby up? Uh, let's do a little. Let's do a little shoot, dude. dude. Yeah. Nice. Shoot, dude. Time. Nice. Shoot, dude. 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 Nice. Nice. All right. Okay, so this shoot, dude, comes from Elena Carrazana. There's two R's in this. You got to roll it. Carrazana. No, sorry. Caran Caranza. Okay. Let's just let's just move past that. Probably. Elena. Uh so <laughs> Elena. Elena says, I was on a video call with my college class and our professor sent us into groups. We've been in these groups a few times and you know, it's private groups so we can kind of chat about what we want. So, one of the people in my group starts talking smack about the professor. The rest of my group, including myself, are kind of just like, yeah, haha, -ha, yeah. And wouldn't you know, my professor messages the group saying she heard everything. Yikes. Of course, I messaged her immediately and apologized for being complacent in the situation. I think she took it well and appreciated it, but still, yikes. Oh. She's actually a very kind and understanding professor, so she definitely didn't deserve to hear that. Moral of the story, wait until you're out of the video program to talk smack, because your professor probably has access to join without you even knowing. Also, if you get caught, just apologize, even if you weren't the one gossiping. Even still, shoot, dude. Shoot, dude. Shoot, dude. I was going to say, apologizing shoot, for like being complacent is the ultimate like, hey, I just wanted you to know that this wasn't me at all, but I could have stopped it. And for that, I'm sorry. Like, it's <laughs> it's very much like not taking responsibility, but also like. Yeah, because like name. it was I wish I knew like what the person who was talking smack was saying, like what kind of stuff. Oh my God. If you have you guys ever like been caught talking smack about someone or like accidentally oh, sent it to them? Absolutely. Or? Oh, I was at a restaurant with some friends. We were at Applebee's in Arizona. Applesby. And Applesby. Applesby. And Applesby. the waitress comes up and she goes, uh, Would you like anything to drink? And my friend goes, Yeah, do you have uh, Dr. Pepper? And she goes, No, but we have Cherry Coke. And oh. we were Those all are not of, the same. We we're all kind of like, um, Yeah. Uh, and then he kind of like, he ordered something else, but she walks away and we started making jokes about it. We're like, yeah, do you have Coca-Cola? No, but we do have lemonade and like kept getting crazier. <laughs> oh, no. And then eventually, eventually I go, hey, do you have Pepsi? No, but we do have my grandmother's piss. And then I look over <laughs> and, and the waitress is right there. <laughs> oh, that's a she just, like, dude. And I was I, like, oh, the, the. Oh I like to imagine, God. I like to imagine she was just like, she was just standing there like, like this, and then you look over. She's like, yes. she just drops. Stuff. <laughs> she just drops Amazing. all the food. Aww. No, but she, <laughs> she like, yeah, she. Luckily, like, I mean, we were teenagers, but no, I still funny. think she probably, she probably spit in our food. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah it build up your food. immune system. But come on, Dr. Pepper <sighs> and Cherry Coke are not the same. <laughs> They're not the same. No, to be fair, not the same. if no, you don't have same. Mr. Pib, it is probably the most comparable thing next, other than like a yeah, root but beer. Like, I but will still, say, just maybe, say we don't have it. Yeah, but I think maybe they're trained to be like, if we just say no, we don't have something, it's like negative and can make right. that person like mad. Right. So if they're like, mm -hmm. but we do have this, it's trying to keep it positive. Mm -hmm. I think it's, 
I think more so it's just like a way to to not have to sit there while they deliberate more. Like, so if you say, we don't have that, but we do have this. So please just say yes to oh, this because I don't yeah. want to have to explain everything that we said. She serve. was Every not drink, doing yeah. anything wrong. No. Like, and we were only just making fun of that. We weren't making, we weren't trying to make fun of her as much as we were just like making fun of that. Right? No, yeah, it's fine. I feel like Comparison. if I was a waitress and... It, it would depend on the day I'm having. If I was having a good day and I said that and I heard them doing that, I would laugh along. But if I was like already having a bad day, I would been like, God damn it, this sucks. Mm-hmm, so yeah. it depends. They're teenagers. Really they're funny. already we not were, gonna tip. Damn we it. We were like, just teenage dudes. Like yeah. we're gonna make fun of anything. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a yeah. whole lot going on when you. Can't I was drive. hoping that you were saying when you said we don't have Pepsi, but we do have my grandma's piss. That you're gonna say that your grandma was was sitting in a table over. <laughs> And then I looked over, my grandma was there. Oh. And she was the waitress. Shit, like, no, Grandma, why are you working? You're old. All right. Oh, my God. Well, uh, send uh, send your shoot dudes um, to shoot dude at... Smosh.com. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shoot dude at smosh.com. smosh.com. That's shoot dude with a D- D-O-O-D. D-O-O-D. Um, and we're like, I'm really excited personally for next week's podcast because mm-hmm. we're going to have a Why? special guest. Who? My sister, Carrie Miller. Why would you do that? <laughs> and Ian didn't know. I don't know if I have enough time to get a ring. No, no, <laughs> no. What are we bringing? I what get are it. We, Dating has we... been hard in quarantine, but No. She's just coming on because I want to talk to my sister and it'd be fun and like, don't make it weird. But look, like Ian, 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 for next next week's shoot, for next week's shoot, dude, you should just shoot your shot. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, but that's going to be fun. She's going to be video chatting from my dad's house. Uh, So it'll be great. It'll be great. Yeah. I'm really excited. For for those that don't know, uh, there was a long running thing of me professing my love for for uh Courtney's sister. Yeah, trying Well, not to professing love, sister. but just yeah. saying like you just wanted no, to but court one my day sister. one day we will, you know, we'll live happily f- ever after. And now and now I had to face the consequences of making those jokes. Absolutely. Great. Awesome. Oh, it's going to be nice. Gonna be stellar. No, that's nice. no, that's that's going to be great. That's that's looking forward. It's going to it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. It's it's going to be okay. I'm not freaking nice. out. You're freaking out. <laughs> oh my god, I love you guys. I miss you guys. You're okay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys um, are all right. Ian, what have you been doing every day? I feel like I've talked to you the least during quarantine. I played this game called Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Oh, nice. that's um, fun. Tabs. And I played it way too way too long last night. And nice. Now I have a headache from staring at a screen. Too late. Same Amazing. for Final Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. dude. Ugh, my, it's I've been getting headache. migraines. I don't even know what it's from. Yeah. Yeah, but, I'm changing the infrastructure of my Animal Crossing town. It's it's pretty it's pretty uh <laughs> Oh, I think this is gonna be the week that I get Animal Crossing, by the way. Yes, so finally do it. Oh sh and I'm just gonna oh, tweet man. out my friend code and then just let anybody come to my Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I will die. Um uh, okay. Well, this has been great, you guys. Thanks mm-hmm. you to to my boys for having fun with me. Bye, and thank bye. you to the listeners and the viewers. You know how it be. We're still putting out content. Some of it's good. Some of it's great. Love y'all. See you next Love time. Y'all. Bye. bye. Uh, call me back in 10 minutes. I need to get some soup. No. Bye. bye, bye.